Guys, I'm going to keep this one very, very brief because it's Friday night and for once I've actually got a social calendar, which is very rare in my life. Um, just reacting briefly to the IFL TV video that's just gone up where Frank Warren categorically rules out a fight between Eubank and Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, apparently Eubanks was up to his usual tricks and um, wouldn't sign up and wouldn't agree to certain clauses, a rematch clause for example. You would think... It would be reasonable for a rematch clause in this instance. It would, after all, be a voluntary defence of uh, Billy Joe Saunders' title. Uh, if Billy Joe Saunders were to lose, it would make it one all. You'd think the rematch clause would kind of almost be in both parties' best interests in that sort of fact. Uh, you know, uh, Frank Warren says Eubanks has uh, effectively walked away from seven figures um, turning down that deal, and he's turned it down uh, to fight Nick Blackwell for the British title. You know, for what it's worth, if we take money purely out of it, I don't think fighting Blackwell for the British title is a bad move for Eubank. I actually think it's exactly the kind of fight he needs to learn and to bring him on and to work in some of the, the holes in his game. I think a Billy Joe Saunders fight at this stage may be a bit too soon and would probably have led to a second career loss, which may have started to affect his image and his persona that he's built up uh, inside and outside the ring. Um, what this means, though, is two of the biggest characters in British boxing, Billy Joe Saunders and Chris Eubank Jr. are both available and neither of them have big fights lined up at this stage for the summer. So you have to question what route these guys will go down because clearly they're two of the biggest names in boxing, in British boxing certainly, uh, two of the biggest characters out there and you'd have to assume that they're going to be wanting to line up some serious opponents and some serious paydays this summer. You know, there's been some talk about the Billy Joe Golovkin route and the fact that this fight is supposedly now not happening must make that fight more likely, you know, because I don't see uh, where else the huge paydays are coming from for, for Billy Joe Saunders, really. Um, yeah, maybe they'll consider an Andy Lee rematch, so I guess that is another possible route to consider. Um, maybe, you never know, maybe Anthony Agogo, he's been talking a lot, he's on Box Mason, uh, he seems to be a pundit on Box Mason somehow these days, maybe that'll be a route they go down. As for Chris Eubank Jr., the fact that he hasn't signed this deal um, to fight Billy Joe Saunders makes me think he'll probably go back to Sky. Uh, you know, clearly he's not going to want to have a career with Nick Hennessy after leaving them last time. I think Eubank Jr. will probably go back to Sky. Uh, I would suggest a move from Eubank Jr. up to super middleweight could potentially be likely as well. Um, that seems to be where Sky can add the most value to him. You know, the big fights at middleweight, Golovkin, Billy Joe Saunders, he doesn't need Sky for those. But the big fights that Sky and Matchroom can assist with, the Gale, Smith, Murray, um, Groves, etc. You know, that's uh, that's something that Sky could definitely assist with. Let me know your thoughts on this. How do you see it going? Uh, how will it all play out? Thanks for watching.